All right, people, I told myself I'm finna come back on some after the smoke clear shit with this whole Khan versus Terrence Crawford situation. A lot of people were saying that Khan quit, but you got some people out there that saying he didn't quit. Um, And I'm going to explain that Khan really quit, in my opinion. And you have to understand, Khan is not known as a quitter. He could have quit against Danny Garcia. He didn't. He could have quit against Marcos Maidana when he was hurt in that 11th round, and he didn't. So, in my opinion, I'm going to fully and thoroughly break it down on if Khan quit or not. And I'm also going to talk about if he did quit, was it smart, was it dumb, whatever. Okay? That being said... Make sure you like if you're feeling the content. You already know the intro. Let's continue to talk about this real shit because you know it's real. Okay? Now, the fight yesterday between Amir Khan and Terrence Crawford, let me just give a quick recap. Um, but what I realized in this fight, um, Terrence Crawford, I always knew that Amir Khan wasn't that much faster than Terrence Crawford. If anything, American speed is on 10. Terrence Crawford's speed is on 9.5. Terrence Crawford has some fast hands, and I always knew that because American did not look like he was super duper faster than Terrence Crawford, like he does on a lot of other of his opponents. All right? And for Terrence Crawford to drop American and hurt American that in the first round, let you know that power is real, okay? Hey, even Danny Garcia took him four to five rounds to get his drop, all right? Now, that's just my little quick recap of the fight. And Amir Khan did show spurts, it's like flashes of goodness in that fight, in my opinion. And it's fucked up that he quit because he was kind of coming back a little bit. All right. Now I had Terrence Crawford up. Don't get me wrong, but Amir Khan was showing sparks and flashiness, flashing. He he was showing flashes. Excuse me. He was showing flashes of Amir Khan. Amir Khan, we know when he's at his A game. Now let's talk about the actual moment when he quit. Now it's hard for me to just say Amir Khan quit, and I'm gonna say it again because we know Amir Khan for being a warrior. But to all my American fans out there, and I'm an American fan too, but I keep it so real. I'm going to admit, even if I'm a fan of you, if I felt that you quit, American definitely, he definitely quit against Terrence Crawford. Now, it was smart at the same time. I'll explain that later on. But he definitely quit against Terrence Crawford, y'all. Okay? If you don't believe that American quit against Terrence Crawford, Let's not talk about what actually happened. Let's just talk about the body language and what led up to it. All right? Okay, we have to understand that um, Amir Khan was taking some devastating body shots from Terrence Crawford. Terrence Crawford showed you he's a great body puncher before. Not only that, Amir Khan showed me he might not have a chin. But he could take some decent body shots because he was getting clapped to that body and it looked like it was kind of like stopping American in his tracks. So it was definitely a low blow. I don't have no problem with American bitching about the low blow because that shit looked like it did hurt. It was definitely a low blow. We ain't going to act like it wasn't a low blow. It was definitely a low blow, okay? But if you really pay attention, when... Amir Khan was getting caught with those body shots, and then Terrence Crawford went low like that. Amir Khan, I'm telling you, he was looking like, damn, that shit hurt. And then when he went to the body, it was like, come on, Amir Khan. And then after the fight, we're going to get to after the fight in a minute, but after the fight, Amir Khan said, um, I thought it was a shot to the nuts or whatever. Amir Khan couldn't even answer the question of was it a nut shot or was it a, um, a shot on the leg, on the thigh or whatever. Amir Khan couldn't answer that question. And I, I found that puzzling to me because only a shot to the ball should have you cringing like that. I mean, a leg shot, I mean, come on, it shouldn't have you like that. 
Then Amir Khan also said, oh, I want to see the tape. I got to watch it over. What the fuck you mean you got to watch it over if you took the shot, you felt the pain, and you seen the shot firsthand? Why do you have to watch that over to be able to tell was it low or not? So, that part right there was mind-boggling to me right there. But back to what I was saying inside the fight. So, when you got hit with the low blow, okay, it was a low blow. Um, I, you was probably hoping for the referee to take away a point, whatever, but it's obvious Terrence Crawford didn't do it on purpose. And then, you didn't even take your full five minutes. See, it's it's not the fact that, that you quit, Amir Khan. It's the fact that you didn't look like you wanted to continue. Like, you didn't tell the, the referee, oh, hold up. Just give me a shot. I got it. Like, when he, when, um... When Amir Khan fought Danny Garcia and uh, Skip Bayless stopped the fight, Amir Khan, you was hurt as hell in that round. And when Skip Bayless stopped, I mean, um, not Skip Bayless. Uh, you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, K Kenny Bayless, whatever the fuck his name is. When he stopped the fight, he was, Amir Khan was like, no, I'm okay. Like, he was mad as fuck that he stopped that fight. The reason Amir Khan was so mad is because Amir Khan was like, man, I'm up on the scorecards. So even with these knockdowns, I'm still up on the goddamn scorecards. So that's why he didn't want that fight to continue. But the fight with Terrence Crawford, Terrence Crawford was up on the scorecards. And those shots like that, those low blows, can kind of it can kind of weaken you. I'm not going to say American wasn't hurt. But he could have gave us the impression like, look, I want to continue. Just let me get, I, I need five minutes. Okay. He should have took his five minutes and sh and forced the referee to stop the fight. Even after five minutes, even if he had to go back into the fight, you know, constantly pretend like pretend like you're weak or act like you're weak when you're fighting Terrence Crawford to give the crowd the impression like, damn, Amir Khan, he looks really affected by that low blow. Okay, he looks very affected. We we, we would have felt for Amir Khan if he would have did if he would have did that. Because the low blow did look like it hurt. But if you would have just, like I said, went back in the fight, kept fighting, but, you know, kind of like cringed a little bit or, you know, show, showed us his body language, you know, that he was still hurt. Like, or even, he could have even did that or he could have went as far as making it to the next round and telling Virgil Hunter, man, this shit hurts, man. This shit fucking hurts, you know. And having Virgil stop the fight. All right. See, I don't see nothing different in the way Devin Alexander quit against Timothy Bradley, all right? But um, it's hard for me to say Americans a quitter because, in my opinion, he's still a warrior. But yesterday, he did quit. It reminds me of um, Duran. Duran is a quitter, but he's a warrior, too, because he overcame so many other fights. He did quit against um, Sugar Ray Leonard. But at least Duran had one one punch KO, so his quitting was worse. But Amir Khan was like, damn, I can't really hurt this dude. He's out boxing me, which means he's beating me at my own game. So, do I really want to deal with another eight rounds of this shit? Okay? Y'all feel me? So, when Amir Khan did that, it was the body language to me. It was the body language that killed you, Amir Khan. Alright? Then, after the fight, um, it seems like you were, you were, I, is it just me or it seemed like Amir Khan was ready to talk and he was walking around fine and he could have did all that in five minutes. Amir Khan should have just took the five minutes instead of just being like, no, you should have just, or just sat on the ground. Like, fuck if the crowd get mad at you taking your five minutes. They're not feeling that pain. We would have respected that more than you just quit in America because a lot of people paid a lot of money and believed in you. A lot of people lost a lot of money because it was people betting on America. So, and but I'm not going to just do you that bad though, America, because I'm still a fan of you. I'm still going to tune in to an ever America fight. And the fight was actually good while it lasted. It started to get good. America looked like he started to come strong. Pause. He looked like he started to come strong in the fight. And Amir Khan was like, he was finally started getting his rhythm. But, but I, he just used that as a reason to just bow down, I guess. But let me tell you guys why this was smart. At the end of the day, it was kind of smart because they was trying to get a DQ. Okay? I feel like 
um, Amir Khan, he was gunning for a DQ, and if he would have got a DQ, that would have been even smarter. But this was even smart because you still got the Kell Brook fight went in there, and this fight ended in a, a controversial kind of um, decision where you could always say you was hurt, you could have continued. It's better than getting knocked out or um, it's better than getting knocked out or just, you know, an actual TK. It's a, it's a type of controversy involved in this. So, it don't make Amir Khan look that bad. And he didn't really get stop, stop, stop. Like we all know to Amir Khan getting just knocked out. He didn't get knocked out like that. So, it is a type of, it was kind of smart in a way because if he would have got KO badly by Crawford, especially in the fourth round, then it would have been kind of over for Amir Khan. But the fact that this fight ended in some controversy, I feel like that was kind of smart. Oh, yeah, one more thing I want to say before I get up out of here. Amir Khan, the reason I really do feel Amir Khan quit as well is because after the fight, Amir Khan was talking about doing other things, going back to the family, instead of just saying, you know what, I really do want this rematch again. You guys could think I quit all you want to, but I really do feel I could beat Terrence Crawford, and I feel like I could change up a lot of things. I was getting in my rhythm, and if you guys could give me another shot, I could beat Terrence Crawford. So even after the fight, it's not like he was gunning for a rematch. All right, y'all. I am out.